Let's learn how to sync a video in Pro Tools. The first thing I want to do is to make sure that I know the exact frame rate of the video I'm going to import in Pro Tools. Here I have the video open in QuickTime and to just find out the frame rate I'm going to press Command I. This brings up the inspector that tells me exactly the uh, encoded uh, frame per seconds. In this case it's 29.97. Now with that in mind, I'm going to start a new project in Pro Tools. I'm going to make sure it's done at 48 kilohertz sample rate. Now I'm ready to import the movie. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Video. I'm going to select the video I want to import and press Open. Now Pro Tools is asking me if I want to import also the audio from the file and I'm going to say yes, I want to have that uh, checkbox checked because that will allow me to have the voiceover or any sound effects that are present in the movie to show up as a separate audio track in Pro Tools and this will allow me to change and adapt the volume of the voiceover or the sound effects in relationship to the music that I'm going to write. In terms of location, I'm going to select Session Start and click OK. Pro Tools is asking me where the movie should be copied inside my session folder and I can put it in video files. And now as you can see I have the movie track and the voiceover track imported. Everything is lined up right at bar 1 at the beginning of my session. The next step is to tell Pro Tools where the actual video starts in terms of SMPT time. If I look at the video, there are two seconds of black frames before the actual video starts. So I need to make sure that I tell Pro Tools that that's the case. So first thing I need to input the start of the SMPT code right from the beginning of the video file. And to do so, I'm going to go to Setup. I'm going to select Session. In here, I need to specify where the actual video starts. And as you can see, it's set up to 00, 59, 58, 00, which is exactly the SMPTE code that I have here. Also make sure that the time code rate is the correct one. It has to match the ones that we saw in QuickTime when we got the information about the movie. The final step is to make sure that bar 1 is lined up with the beginning of the picture and not the beginning of the video file. We know that in this case the first image frame happens at 0, 01000000. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So how do I tell Pro Tools to line up bar 1 to that location? It is very simple. I'm going to go to Event, Time Operations, Move, Song Start. And here I'm going to tell that my Song Start, which is bar 1, needs to be lined up with 0, 01, 0, 0, 0, 0. Make sure to select Time Code in the Time Base option. So now my bar 1 corresponds exactly with the beginning of the picture. But I have my empty time at the beginning, my black frames at the beginning as well. In drinking foods and beverages that are very acidic. Right, so again I have my two beep right here. And then at bar 1 exactly at bar 1 at the beginning of the first frame of the picture. You also might want to look at the um, timeline as uh, frames and seconds. So if I click here right next to the, the bars, the bars and beats, I can show a sub counter and that sub counter can be set to time code. So now I can see 
my bars and bits, but also my time code. And the final check is to make sure that this time code corresponds to the time code on the movie. We're eating and drinking foods and beverages that. And that's the case, right? Same time code. And here it is. Have fun scoring some good videos. Once you have written, produced, and mixed your music, it is time to bounce it to a video. To do so, you would go ahead and bounce your session as you would normally do. So I'm going to go to File, Bounce Mix. At this time, in the file type, I'm going to choose Movie. I'm going to give it a name. I can select the audio format and quality. And I want to make sure that I include the video. And I can choose a different uh, codec for my movie. I probably recommend choosing H.264 as a default. Choose where to save it. I'm going to save it inside my session folder here. And I'm ready to go. Now Pro Tools is creating a bounce of the movie with the music that was being mixed through the Pro Tools session. And here is my bounced movie.